Happy Monday and a happy Thanksgiving week. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. As we go through tonight, we'll be watching for a few snowflakes. Now the winds for our Monday evening, predominantly west northwesterly. They're actually driving more of the uh, better lake effect into New York State here. There's a subtle shift that we'll watch for later tonight, which may allow for a bit more of that coming into the valley. But I do not expect this to be a high impact snow, really not much of an impact at all. We're looking at accumulations tonight, uh, less than an inch an isolated spot. It would be a stretch to get there. Could see an inch that would be in the northern snow belt. We'd be looking for that. So not a big uh, deal with that snow for you tonight. A more noticeable factor will be the wind chills. They'll drop down to around 20 degrees possible to some upper teens in the morning and then wind chills hovering in the 20s throughout much of your Tuesday. It'll be a cold day with highs only getting into the 30s there. So future cast shows what I'm watching for. Occasional snow showers and flurries showing up here. Now again, a light dusting is not not out of the question. Temperatures down into the 20s overnight would allow that to stick to the ground, but we're not looking at a widespread uh, treacherous travel setup for your Tuesday morning. But do be mindful there could be some slick spots, especially uh, maybe some bridges and overpasses or those lesser travel roads. Just keep that in mind as we go through the morning. Still looking for a few snow showers and flurries lingering. Not looking too impressive here on Futurecast, though. Coming up on the afternoon, that threat for snow winding down, highs in the 30s, and we'll look for clouds to thin out as we we go into our Tuesday evening, so I do expect to see a little bit of sunshine going with a partly sunny sky for the afternoon by the evening, mostly clear the rest of the night. Pretty quiet into your Wednesday morning, starting off again in the 20s. Wednesday's going to be a warmer day. You see we're up in the 40s by noon. Highs on Wednesday will flirt with the upper 40s. We'll see a decent amount of sun, but clouds will increase heading into Wednesday night as this cold front approaches and by Thursday Thanksgiving morning, we'll start looking for a few showers around now while we have the chance to see rain in the morning. The wetter part of your Thanksgiving looks like the evening. As this cold front comes through, we should see at least a line of showers that works through behind that. And then on the backside, that colder air starts taking over. So if you're headed out for Black Friday shopping Friday morning, it will feel much colder. We're talking temperatures in the 30s through the day, a blustery wind throughout the day too. So you'll want jackets that will uh, block that wind if you're going to have to wait in line outdoors. And we'll be watching for some scattered snow once again. Lake effect setting up across the area and we could see a little bit of accumulating snow around on your Friday. Something of course we'll keep an eye on as we go through the week. But for the near term, while we do have snow in the forecast, it's not going to cause you too many hassles. All the levels here low that light wind keeps a wind chill factor for your overnight and a small chance at a couple of isolated slick spots with accumulations less than an inch. 25 degrees are low temperature, but wind chills in the upper teens to low 20s in the morning. We'll still look for a few morning snowflakes around. By the afternoon, that threat for snow tapering, and then we're looking at a partly sunny sky with clouds continuing to clear out into your Tuesday night. Wednesday, we're going with a mix of sun and scattered clouds. A large part of the day looks pretty sunny with upper 40s for our highs. Warmer on Wednesday than Thanksgiving. Those clouds coming back to us. We'll see showers developing, a chance for a few raindrops in the morning. Better chance as we come up on the late afternoon and evening on Thanksgiving. That's a cold front bringing that rain, and you see what that does to our temperature for Black Friday falling back into the 30s. I expect scattered snow showers and a brisk wind out there, so we will feel rather chilly once we drop into the 30s on Friday. We'll hold the 30s for highs right through the weekend and into next week. Also watching for the chance for more snow as we come up on Sunday and also on Monday.